Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be talking about Najida. Najida is the new Dendro character that is coming to the game. It's the Dendro Archon and she's quite good to be honest. I think she's gonna be really good. So I'm making this quick guide to you guys to learn how to play her, what her talents do, what you should do great first and why and that type of things, you know how it goes. So let's get started. First, let's talk about the normal attack. She performs four attacks. She's a catalyst, so be careful to not get interrupted on these attacks. Uh, her scalings are a bit low, but he, her dendro apply seems pretty f good. So we're gonna be leveling up this. His talent, the E, is all skins to know. If you tap it, you will deal dendro damage and mark opponents. If you hold, you enter on aim mode, and you can select a limited number of opponents within the limited area. During this time, Nahida resistance to interaction will be increased, which is really important because we will be getting fat by enemies. When releasing it, the skill deals dendro damage and marks with the seed of Sangna. I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry. Okay, so if you make any elemental reactions, if you make any elemental reactions related to dendro, you will make uh, more damage to the enemies. You will deal damage to the enemies connected with the passive. So, for example, let's say that you mark three enemies. If you do an elemental reaction with Dendro, like Hyper Bloom on one, you will still do the damage on the other two enemies. So this is really important because for Hyper Bloom teams, you will deal a lot of damage that was only single target to multi-target enemies that you mark it with Jory. Her ultimate gives bonus to us depending on how many characters we have on certain elements. For example, for Pyro we get damage increase, 25.3%, 37.9% of damage increase. On Electro we we'll get a re cooldown reduction of the purification trigger interval from her E. So if you got one character is 0.42 and two characters 0.63. And if you have two Hydros, which is the team that you will get on Nilo probably, you will get a duration extension of her E, 5.68 seconds or 8.53 seconds with one and two characters respectively. This is important because extending the duration makes your blooms hit on more area because they will be hitting more enemies only with their reactions and the passive her passive talents are compassion of illuminate when realizing the his loser's earth her ultimate your active character will gain a 25 percent of elemental mastery and you can gain a maximum of 250 elemental mastery the awakening of elucidated hope i pronounced that good is well from each point of nahida elemental mastery you will gain a point 0 0.1 bonus damage and 0 0.03 crit rate to your E. And a maximum of 80% and 24% respectively can be gained in this manner. And finally, on all things meditated, Nahida can use all skins to know to interact with some harvester items within a fixed AOE. And this skill can have multiple uses like getting materials or interacting with certain characters that we will be sync on the game. As always I told you for the constellation part I think it's not important to spend money on the game. It's not a really hard game to you to spend thousands of money. So I kindly think that it's not worth it for you. But if you want to spend money I'm gonna do the constellation review a little bit. First one is that you add one one number to the count of the ultimate. So Let's see, for example, you don't have Pyros or Electros or uh, Hydros, then this constellation gives you like three, one of them. It gives you one Pyro, one Electro and one Hydro. So you'll need one less to activate a huge buff. I think I explained that okay. If not, feel free to ask it on the comments. I will try to answer it better. And the second, the C2 is more damage on uh, Bloom, Hyper Bloom, Burgeon reactions and Quick and Aggravate decreases a lot more the defense. It gives a lot of damage. The C3 is a, a level increase for her E. And the Stem of Manifest, the C4, will increase elemental mastery when there are a lot of opponents. 
C5 is only more levels on the ultimate and C6 is the ultimate that deals uh, more dentro damage based on her elemental mastery. It deals a lot of damage on this one, but you know, C6, all characters are broken at C6. Okay, for weapons for our dearest um, Nahida, we got a lot of options for Nahida. Here, Sucros will be helping me to tell you the different options that we have. The best weapon for her is the weapon that comes for her, her signature. The second best for me is Kagura's variety because it's super strong and if you play Nahida on field, which you probably will, you will get a lot of buffs from this and it's really easy to trigger. Second options that we have, Sacrificial Fragments is really good because it gives you Elemental Mastery, Elemental Mastery is really good on Nahida. The Witch Seed is super great if you get the Elemental Mastery buff because it's a 300, it's better than this but only if you get the elemental mastery buff which is kind of meh map of is good it's a free to play option that you can play it's decent solar pearl is okay i don't think i think it will be okay with her but i don't think it will be that good other options that we have this weapon is bad because it gives you energy recharge you don't really need energy recharge on on her so i don't highly recommend it lost pride of the sacred it's okay don't play the dog note, please. Memory of the dust, it's not good on her. Okay. Prototype Amber can be played because there's one team, the Nilo team, that we will be talking a bit later, that you need a lot of HP in order to not die. So this can be played and it gives you some energy recharge, which is fine. It's not super good, but it's fine. Favonius College is the same. I don't really like energy recharge. It's useless on her. You will probably get your ultimate back every rotation, but it's okay because it gives you particles to all of the teammates. Black Cliff is okay. It's decent, I think. I don't know how to rate Black Cliff here because Black Cliff it's good on multi-target enemies, but it's not that good because you need a, a lot of a scenarios where a lot of enemies are dying all the time to get the buff. Age of Perception is really bad. And Dodoko, I think it's not that great. And Hatsune Ring, well, can be played, but it's the same with energy recharge weapons that they don't give you anything from the substat, so you are kind of losing a, a substat, you know? But that's all. I think the best weapons are Kagura's, uh, her, her main weapon that will come with her. Mapa Mare can be decent, but for four star solar pill is really good. Witch Seed and Sacrificial Fragments are the best four star options in Mo. And solar pill is really good too. So that's, yeah. Kagura, solar pill, Witch Seed, Sacrificial Fragments, and her main weapon. Mapa Mare, if you don't have any of those. Okay, so. Which set do you want on Nahida? Nahida probably wants four pieces the memory. It's really great. But since you are triggering reactions, you can play this or even the the glided dream set. I rather get um the full memories because you don't get that much damage from having this from Elemental Mastery and also you will be running these three pieces on Elemental Mastery. So you probably won't be getting that much from Glided Dreams. Also, another thing that's important to take in account is that you want to get at least with um, with her, you want to get at least a 1k Elemental Mastery, which I don't have with Kokomi because uh, I changed her... Yeah, there we go. I almost have 1k. Okay, so you want to reach almost this one. With Glided Dreams I reach it, but if you reach 1k of Elemental Mastery, you want to get rid of one of these three artifacts that you will be running on Elemental Mastery and change it for another thing like uh, Attack Percent or something like that that gives you more, more great substats in order to get um, more damage. That's the important thing to note. So what we're gonna search for is we want Elemental Mastery, first of all, on the fe feather and the flower, okay? You want crit right crit damage, it's really important to maintain that balance on substats. And for this you want elemental mastery, obviously, and the same for everything. A substat you want attack percents, uh, crit right crit damage, energy recharge. Think that you don't need a lot of energy recharge, but having some is really great. So that's what you want to go. 
so you can play i forgot to mention you can play like two pieces devote and two pieces that percent if you have another four pieces devote on your team but since we probably will play only nahid alone on on the dendro teams you will probably want four pieces on nahida of this set there are a lot of things that you can play on nahida but let's try to think that kole is nahida okay so first of all you can play teams like this from nilo i think this team the hardest thing that has is that you can die from the blooms not gonna lie kokomi doesn't heal that much so you can tr you can die so probably i think this way to go is really great because from this you ensure to not die and also you will get a lot of damage and nahida doesn't have that much da that much heal so I think playing double healer on Nilo teams can be a great option if you want to play Bloom teams. Okay, so for Hyper Bloom teams. Okay, so for Hyper Bloom teams, you want to play like one Hydro. You can play, for example, Jala, Raiden Shogun. This will be uh, Nahida. And you can play like, I don't know, a Shielder or a Chinkyu in order to have more damage. It depends on your playstyle, but this will be another important team on Nahida. Nahida Hyperbloom is really strong, it can deal a lot of damage, you can play this team for example. If you don't feel comfortable not going with one healer, you can change Jelan or Chinkyu for another healer like Kokomi. For example, where is Kokomi? Kokomi or Barbara, which you probably have. If you don't feel comfortable going for healer, well, right, I'm going to book it there. <laughs> so, this is the team that I will play personally on Hyperbloom. Remember that Kolei is, is our Nahida. You can also play a team like this where you make aggravate teams. So this team is really strong because you make aggravate and hyper blooms. It's really great. You focus more on aggravate. So that's decent. For me, I think this team will be really, really good. Also, you can change this, for example, and give like Dendro Traveler or or something like that so you go full aggravate team or even you can put here kasuha or sucrose you know so you can hold all the teams and do a lot of aggravate reactions that's the point of this type of teams i'd rather get uh, sucrose for this team because it doesn't take that much time on on field i think it's really really strong i said you can play Guardian teams which looks like this with Chinkyu um, the Dendro Archon, the Nahida Fischl and let's say for example Toma maybe you can change even maybe you can change even Fischl for another Hydro like Yelan or Kokomi to get heals but this type of team can work too I mean I don't really like Baryon because applying uh, Pyro on the Dendro course is a bit strange, but you can play it. I have bring a Joemilla Barion teams on the channel before, so I think you can play this. It's only the same. And also you can play maybe like uh, like this. Uh, where is Bennett? So close. Whoops, I changed it. Or Nahida. Like this, uh, this team is only barn team, it can be played, Nahida is strong and we'll get a lot of buffs from here, but I don't think it's that great to be fair, but you can test it, if you want to test it, go for it. I think there are better teams than this, but you know, it's play what you want guys, uh, just this just to give you ideas, so you know. You can try to get them or or build this type of teams. I think they are pretty fun, all of them. So that's all for the teams. And that's all for this guide, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe, and good luck on your Nahida Puss. I hope you get it and be super happy playing her. She's gonna be fun for sure. So let's see, guys. Good luck pulling for her. See you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.